What's going on guys? So we are on the way to Orlando right now. We left Hawaii last night at 6 o'clock, did the red eye to Atlanta, had a little delay, got on the flight now from Atlanta to Orlando. We got a lot of stuff to do today. Come along for a little adventure. Well, let's go. Currently have a car here in Orlando because I obviously have been living in Hawaii this whole time. So we had to rent a car. So I thought I would rent something fun to drive for the next two weeks at least. Got the new BMW X6. Well, let's go. All right, all right. Yeah, I really regret getting this car now. It was a terrible idea. Look at this thing. Sport mode. Oh! She goes, baby. She goes. Look at her. I wasn't going fast. I was only going 30 miles an hour. It drives the middle of the lanes as well, so no hands. No hands. I can just trade and drive around the world this thing. I haven't driven a uh, new BMW in a hot minute. I've been driving the Subaru around. It's kind of weird to have a car that's got lots of power, luxury, and the M series got the like 360 degree camera. Look at that, how does it know? How does it see above us? How does it know? Got the back camera, but then this 360 degree camera. How does it know? I brought nothing with me. I literally brought a backpack with nothing in it. No clothes, nothing. It's all brand new, baby. We're starting brand new, fresh here in Orlando. First meal in Orlando. Got the steak bowl, white rice, black beans, salsa, cheese, sour cream, chips, root beer. Let's go Chipotle, baby. It's been uh, about a month. I had Chipotle when I was in New York City. So I pre-ordered a bunch of stuff already from Amazon and had it shipped to my grandma's house. And she has a smaller little apartment thing and. I think her whole house is full of my boxes. I haven't seen it, but I've seen some pictures online of all of the boxes. Just got a few boxes. This is about $10,000 worth of Amazon gear. We've got the LG monitors, got the whole setup. So I'm gonna load all this up into, it's gonna be like a Tetris puzzle. It's all about size. Size matters, baby. We gotta get the right boxes in the right place. Got the new LG 28 inch double up monitor. It's double the fun, double the power. Look at that, three monitors down. One, two, three, one. All right, so we got the first load in the car. We got a few boxes, we got all the monitors, we got the computer, and we're gonna head over to my new apartment. I haven't even seen this apartment in an actual person yet. I signed the lease online and said YOLO, so let's go check it out. Me, you, everybody watching the video right now. All right, we are here. The first glimpse. I saw pretty much like my apartment down there at the end. This is Orlando Creative Village, kind of a new area downtown. So here we are in the new apartment, the first bedroom right here. It's a three bedroom apartment, seventh floor. This is the first bedroom the second bedroom i think this is going to be my office i'm going to put my office in here maybe put it over here i don't know maybe look at this other bedroom this maybe this bedroom here or this bedroom i don't know let me see here's the kitchen living room outdoors a little balcony we're all the way up here. And then my bedroom. So this is the master bedroom, another balcony there. We've got the shower, nice little shower. Look at this massive closet. I could put my office in here. I could be like, hey, I'm live, live on YouTube. You can look at this too right from there, maybe. Look at this shower. Shower is a little, a little thin. The thin shower. So one thing that we don't have on Oahu, or actually, there might be an Ikea on Oahu. I don't think there is though. But we have Ikea, obviously here in Orlando. Nice and easy to get to. So we are at Ikea now. I'm gonna grab some things for the house. Need some curtains for the office. I need a lot of things, but I just need to focus on the office right now. So we're gonna get some stuff for the office. And I just wanna get that all set up. So we're getting some curtains, some curtain rods. And we came here for curtains. We're ending up leaving with a million other random things. Kind of needed stuff anyway, but 
Grabbing some dishes, grabbing a little piece of art, grabbing the curtains, grabbing some other little stuff for the kitchen and the house and some dishes and all that fun stuff. It's been a bit of a mission actually. When you go to Ikea thinking you're gonna buy just curtains, ended up spending $350. It's not cheap. 11 baby, it's not cheap. So it's currently like seven o'clock here in Orlando and we're loading up more stuff. We got the bed. Got some more fun stuff here, so we're gonna unload it and doing it all by myself. Just moving it along here. Just moving along. The best part is there's still more boxes at my grandma's house. All right, so it's about uh, nine o'clock. You can see outside, here's my view on the new balcony. Beautiful Orlando, Florida. A lot different than my view in Hawaii. I'd say it's very, very different than the view that I have in Hawaii. We got all the stuff in the apartment. We got the apartment. I mean, we got here pretty late in the day, so we didn't have a ton of time to do work. But just getting everything into the apartment, you know, my bed, my office stuff, pretty much all I have so far is my bed, my office stuff, and that's all I've got. I went and got some clothes. I need to get some food. I need to get like just normal necessities, but we did it. It's done. Day one. My dad's coming over in the morning and he's gonna help me out do some uh, building stuff and putting it all together. And so I woke up this morning and I totally forgot to film what we've been doing all morning. We were supposed to be filming this. You fucked up. Andy fucked up. There's my dad. You guys have met him before. Cracker boy. Remember the time we went airboat with him? He said that, what was it? it it, it, when it's wet, what would you say? Um, the, the wetter it is, the slippery it is. <laughs> Something like that. So here we are in the office. I decided I'm gonna put my office in this room. We got the first monitor on the desk. It took us a hot minute to build this Chinese table here. It had some weird directions, but we got the power tools. We're getting it done. We're gonna put this desk together and we got the first monitor right there. So that's what we've been doing. It's, uh, what time is it, like eight o'clock in the morning, I woke up got Only got a few hours of sleep last night and this guy comes and fucking, let's go, let's get start building. 7 a.m. So we're putting it together and uh, yeah, I'll let you guys know, put this first monitor. What's really cool about these monitors is check out this monitor on the back. Like you could fully just get wild with like moving these things around. This stand, this is one of the reasons that I really wanted to buy these monitors is because the stands alone, I think are worth it. Like look at this stand. So you can see here, this is the actual monitor stand and it's super heavy duty. LG always makes good stuff, obviously, but like I said, this was the reason that I really wanted to get these monitors is because the stands alone, I just think they're really pretty cool. And it gives me a lot of flexibility to be able to like kind of adjust things, move things around on the fly. You know, it's nice to like kind of just have flexibility, obviously. So. The hard part right now is trying to figure out though, like where am I gonna put? Because I'm a little worried. I thought this desk was gonna be a little bit bigger. It's 63 inches wide. The monitors are 28 inches. Four times, that's 80 inches. What do you think, Cracker Boy? Think What's your redneck engineering tell you? It'll work because you're gonna have this. You Make it wider. One down and have the one in. There's three of them. Four of four them. Right? So yeah, with these, with these, they definitely will. That's some redneck engineering right there. They put the four right there, and then the one, and then you get the three right there. It's gonna work perfect. Carry the two. Okay. Is this your first time building a computer game, a gaming chair? Absolutely. You don't have I'm, a computer I'm, gaming chair at home? No, I have a, a two by four picnic table. <laughs> when I was young, I was probably like 14, 15 years old. I used to play World of Warcraft Diablo. And I would play, in the house that we lived in, we had a computer that, only, we only had one computer and they, we had dial up internet. So anytime somebody used the phone or anytime somebody was on the internet, you couldn't use the phone or it would like kick you off. So Andy would always fucking, he'd answer the phone or get on the phone and I would be on playing a game. He'd be, get off the goddamn game and start yelling at me. But then the best was I'd wake up in the middle of the night before, you know, he would go to bed at like nine o'clock and we would all go to bed and I would wake up at like 10 o'clock at night and I would go into the office and try to get on the computer. But the funny part was, is it fucking made a noise where it with the dial up. So 
I don't want to get caught anyway, but it was funny because I would go in there and sneak in there at like 11 o'clock at night and play video games until 2 or 3 in the morning, and then he would wake up at 4 to go to work and find me in there. But he was making money even at the age of 12. I was making money for Diab uh, Diablo. Tell us, give us a review. Put this on Amazon. Oh, what you think? I, don't feel like, <laughs> I feel like I'm making money already. You feel like a money making chair? <sighs> Got that money making chair. That thing's nice. So I will say that the actual mounts, the LG mounts for these monitors are like really solid. They're actually like metal. There's a little bit of plastic, but there's like mostly metal to it. They feel really good. They got a good weight to them. So if you're thinking about looking at these LG double up monitors, pretty solid, really solid. You can see they have these little mounts, kind of screws on the back there. We got all the mounts on. Let's put the last monitor, see what it looks like. All right, so we got the monitors up there. I mean, it's pretty insane. So the idea here, all right, the idea is we have like charts, we have charts, and then I'm gonna have my Mac over here for editing, because I wanna be able to, like my big problem lately, or the big problem like with streaming is I can't stream and edit when I have like two computers, right? Like if I have my one computer for editing and I have my one computer for filming, well then it makes it very hard to be able to film, edit, and stream at the same time. So the idea is that I'm gonna be able to edit while I'm streaming. So like, if the market's slow or whatever, I can edit, and then I can also be live on YouTube. So that's kind of the idea here. I'm gonna have like my Mac over here, charts, charts, and then like live streaming internet stuff over there. Board from Razer, mechanical keyboard, optical gaming, I don't really know. It's a nice key keyboard, not that I really need like a fancy keyboard. We got the little mouse traction pad thingy. I'm gonna put the mouse on here, try to get this all plugged in and try to get the monitors turned on so then like I said, I can kind of figure out what I need to do next. Money making mouse, my mouse for making the money. Got the Razer little gaming mouse there. Eee. I really like the weight and the customizability of like the gaming mouses, they have a good weight to them. If you look at like just normal mouses, they, I don't know, like they don't respond the same. These gaming mouses are built for gamers, obviously, to like have very quick reaction times. And not that I like need to be super fast about getting in and out of a trade, but I don't know, I just like the feeling of a gaming mouse. It's alive! It's alive! Look at that beautiful thing, oh my gosh. Those fans are going hard. I hope those fans don't actually sound like that for real. First review of the new mouse and keyboard. I actually really like it. You can hear, it's nice. And the mouse is really nice as well. I'm excited. It's always nice when you like start to see it, you know, or starting to see it. It's starting to happen. Like it's, it's, it's becoming reality right now. It's becoming reality that we might actually have like a pretty sick setup here. You know, up until now, it's just all been in my head. You know, I basically bought all the stuff on Amazon and then put it in a box and here it is. And now, feeling pretty good. So the next thing is like, we really got to figure out kind of where we're gonna put the camera at for the live stream. Cause normally the camera is like right in the middle of the monitors, but I wanted to do it a little bit differently and I wanted to put the camera somewhere else. So we might have to get creative here with the camera placement. So we got another problem here. We have basically these cables, they're display port to HDMI cables, and they only support up to 1080 resolution. I grabbed them off the shelf because they were the only option that I had, and I didn't even notice that the 1080 thing. So basically on the monitors, the monitor that's hooked up with this cable is all funky looking because it's only 1080. But what's really cool, what I did notice, check this out with the monitors, is actually what you do with the new LG monitors is like, let's say I wanna put you know, multiple charts on the screen, I wanna make it look pretty. Watch this, watch this. I'm gonna try to, talk, I'm gonna try to film it and show you guys. So basically what you do is you bring this up to the top and see how that pops up there? There's like that little uh, box. So let's say I wanna go, let's say I wanna do this, I wanna go, like that, so how, see how it literally goes over there to the left? And then let's say I wanna open like another tab and pull this tab over here to the left. 
and look how like perfectly those all like fit in there that's pretty cool actually like you don't have to like size it out or like pull the screen or do anything funky it just works so pretty much what I've decided is right now I'm gonna have the camera in the middle because I like I want to like talk to you guys like I want to be in it I don't want the camera to be over the side and like I have to like turn my head like I want to be looking at the charts but also like you know look at you guys at the same time so this is like the standing desk I think we'll have it on the background over here I'm still working it's like four o'clock on Sunday right now and we're just gonna have to like wing it we're gonna have to just like go for it on Monday it might not be the perfect setup it might not be everything that I dreamed of but we'll get it going and hopefully be ready for tomorrow morning so I'm gonna keep working I'm working hard for you guys it's literally like I said four o'clock here on Sunday and I've been working since Saturday morning on getting this thing set up and ready and it's it's a mission it's just all new you know if I already had this set up before it was just you know something different I've never really used these monitors before it's a new computer everything's brand new so we're dialing it in I got the charts pulled up so that's a good step you know in the right direction we're making progress all right so we got the camera working the camera is set up there there's my webcam it's all hooked up it's plugged in we're working we're working we got the speaker working you can see back here this is the web camera right there boom 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 thank you ma'am come again so that works it's hardwired in to that over there so that way the webcam's always working and it looks good I'm happy with this so now we got to get some lighting up in here we got these little LED bar lights a bunch of LED lights I'm gonna mess around with try to do something cool I somehow lost the curtains once again I'm pretty sure they're in the car but we'll find out but right now we're getting pretty close to being ready for tomorrow morning pretty darn close we're close we're very close very close